Alright, probably Revelations 3. 4th of July, 1839. It's done! The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Wow, so you got a, like a stone ball? What are you going to do with it? Oh, that's not cool. I'm going to run here. Okay. We're gonna hide here. That's not... Okay, he's... He's definitely in the room soon. This is interesting. Can I... No, 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 no. No, don't open, don't open. Alright. It's the pizza delivery guy again. Alright, well I can still hear him. I don't want to open the door, even not even the slightest. Just gonna keep it closed. Curiosity wins. Okay, did he leave? This is the part in like, think of a horror movie, where a character, well, the music changed, where the character is hiding from, say, like a killer or something, and uh. And then the killer leaves, and the dude is like, Oh my god, I'm saved! And he fucking gets out of his hiding place. And the killer is like, right there. So that's... what I'm expecting to happen here. I hope not! Run! Go! Alright, we made it. Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know what that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Alright, there's no one here. I was just supposed to apparently scare you. Shall we go to the study? Let's go to the study and study. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some conf comfort. 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 <laughs> Comfort, of course. That's a nice looking hand. Comfort. Don't know why why has it comfort. Alright. We're gonna duck down. And go over here. Alright now this is getting a bit scarier. Let's see. No, I don't need any of those. Nor do I need any of those. Is there anything here that I can actually use? Oh, it just got very dark all of a sudden. Alright, let's jump around a bit. There is nothing here. Absolutely fucking nothing. Seriously, this room is a waste. There's a cross here that I could probably use against the the shadow. Let's see. Let's put one there. And out we go. Okay, so it turns here. I want to take... Oh crap, I don't want to go there. I do not want to go there. Does this lead there also? No, it does not. There is no door there. Alright, there's a piece of paper here that we're going to pick up. Hopefully nothing happens. Letter regarding the discovery of an orb. Oh my god, an orb! To my most trusted student and friend, Johan Weyer. I think that's Weyer. Whatever. 
The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer, I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described in it described it in the Hortus Cong whatever I'm not even gonna try to do that. It was as it was told about an underground Mithraic temple, Mithraic I don't know. Crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jacked. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an Im impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Alstad. Oh, investigating one of the anti antique trails. Antiquated and whatever. When I finally found the cavern, I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetched the herb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. Holy shit. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the herb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby raven, raven, ra ravine, whatever, where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, ho, oh, <laughs> wow, nice going, dude. I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly a blue shimmer shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal, charcoal black with leaves of cinder, and the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave away to the rising wind and drained on me. I could hear pleading green screams in the distance, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still, until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling, howling of course, cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. This is very fascinating. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Allstad. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich, Heinrich, or Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. That was, uh, that was quite the story. Oh, how I hate the backstories, like, there was this thing following me and it, like, killed all this guy all these guys and I'm gonna be next like that really doesn't want to make me go any further in this fucking mansion gonna put that away oh well at least I haven't heard any any screams or any unnecessary noises this does not look good okay some oil. Okay, what is that? I don't like that. Stop, stop cracking the win windows, whoever you are. Okay, that's not locked. Well, I can't really know that, but... Right, so this is probably the end. Yep. That is definitely blocked off. Is there anything behind that? No. So I think... Can't move the curtains. I think we're gonna go over here and check this place out. It's very bright, that's for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, okay, good. Let's see what you have to offer. Wow. 
That's, uh, I think he was sawing a dog or something. Yeah, definitely. Look at that. What a fucking weirdo. This is probably gonna get flagged <laughs> because of the tiny, tiny penis. Alright, well, there's one paper over there, but let's check these out first. Nothing. Oh, tinderbox. I have like seven of those now. And nothing. Yeah, seven. Ah, uh, that was a lucky guess. Whoa, that scared me. <laughs> bones and shit. Who would keep bones in their fucking drawer? Whatever, let's pick this up. 1658, January 9th. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been done, has been made, in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice, suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. <laughs> okay. Alright, is there gonna be anything here? Now? No? Probably when I leave. There's gonna be some shit going on. I didn't even check this room out. There's a paper here. But, um, is there anything anything else? I can actually take that? No, I cannot. Fuck off. Nope, can't take that. Well, there's the bone. Aw. Aw, that, that makes me sad. Hopefully that wasn't a dog. I am a dog guy myself. I prefer dogs over cats. Yes, it was a it was a dog, I think. Canis lupus familiaris or whatever. Sixteen fifty eight, April twelfth. After a short study it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fuck. That's sad. Fear and pain induce stress, 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 which seems to trigger an endogenous, I guess, endogen, whatever, response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced within the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. genesis. The hell are you talking about? There's an inherent problem in harvesting this energy, since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. Yeah, I think that cutting their head off is gonna kill them, dude. More experience experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount of n the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the sev severity severity. Why can I not talk today? Severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Alright, I'm probably going to end this one here, because uh, I don't want to go out there. Whoa. What the hell? What was this? Not hitting that one. Whatever, this has been Let's Play Amnesia. I'm going to end this one here. Next time we're going to go see what's on the other side of this door. There's the hallway. But is there something else? We will see. Thank you for watching, and we'll, we'll be here, so no one can open the door. No pizza delivery guys needed over here. But whatever. Thank you for watching, and I'm so scared. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later.